All right, I greet you um, in peace, in love, in harmony, in blessings, and all of that, all the good stuff. I greet y'all in all of the good stuff. Celebrate, be happy. All of the stuff that's going on right now is just a, it's just a distraction. The earth is changing. The earth is actually changing everything. Um, and and I, I think I might have said this before, but the the, uh, the earth is a living organism. It's it's a lot. So um, we have to we have to recognize that as time goes on, that it changes. The other thing is look at the at the complexity at the complexity period of the of the universe and how everything is 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 like moving in synchronization and all of the, the 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 waves and the vibrations and everything is all functioning together so the creation is magnificent the creation is magnificent anyway um so <laughs> in my meditation um Actually, there was well, there was somebody there. I won't say who it was, right? But somebody came into my into my space. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And uh, and anyway, so they came into my space, and it was something that they that they used to say all the time, and. Which is one one reason why I knew that this dude was a good dude because everything that he talked about and everything that he came through or whatever, you know. But but the one thing, the one thing that he kept harping on in my ear all the time, and this was years ago, was souls, souls, souls. And he used to say that, he, you know. He was just like. Bring it up on me or whatever, whatever. So, um, what what I want to what I want to talk about is the understanding that your inner peace will help other people to achieve inner peace because energy and vibration tend to tend to gravitate to one another so souls <clears throat> the whole reason why you're trying to vibrate higher chase after your passion stay on a path that is 100% or and I shouldn't say 100% but but it's is 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 based in this guy it's based in the spirit because if you, if you got this guy in check then this guy you can check him and then your existence is going to be better and then once again, go back to the to to my, you know, my example, and then everybody is going to come together because now we are spiritually kindred. Now, the soul, the soul, and I and I don't want to get because because you can study, and, and here, here's the other thing. Everything that I'm saying, don't don't take my word for it. I want you to go study. That's why when I started off, I first started off, I was doing like I was like, okay, I get them into the into the negative confessions. But then I thought about it, I was like, but if they don't actually do it for themselves, if you don't do it for yourself, what good is it? And all of those codes and all of those laws and commandments and everything throughout time 
you know, I've read all of them, I think. And if there's something I haven't read, I'm, you know, they'll probably, <laughs> they'll probably show up at my doorstep, which stuff always does. So that, so that's why I, I, I want you to understand and I want you to understand. I want you to understand and I want you to understand. I want you to, to understand be, and understand so that you have the entire picture. So that you have the entire picture because you can't get the entire picture unless you put the humanity with the spiritual. So, and then the other thing is, is that you cannot talk about like certain things and especially things like why somebody is here or anything like that, right? And the reason why I say that is because <clears throat> is everybody's path and everybody's purpose is important, no matter what it may be. So to, to assume that somebody has an advantage and, and see that and and that's where we get into the negative where we get on the we get on that continuum and we get on the negative side of the continuum because we're we're not focused on what's going on and once again it's not selfish it's to establish things like self-esteem self-control self-autonomy, self-everything. Because if you if you start really thinking just like to wake up all of your 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 uh your chakra energy and as you and, and if you understand and you understand what that so you have to have the whole picture. So if you have the whole picture so so you got this guy, you got this guy, then you got a better existence, and then your better existence is gonna make the whole existence, the universal oneness, all existence better for everyone. And that's why I, I think consciously all of the all of the, the, the prophetic words that are coming forth, uh or that have been coming forth have been celebrate, be in joy, have you know change the vibration it's up to us it's up to you it's up to me to change the vibration speak to people greet people because that soul that you that you connect with and uh and my sister was talking about his funny, divine appointment you you don't know why you're gonna meet somebody or how you're gonna meet, but the universe could be putting that person in your path. The, the, the universe is putting that person in your path on purpose. But this guy is still around. So if if, if this guy sends you somebody and then this guy <laughs> I want to cuss, but and this guy messes it up. You see what I'm saying? See, sometimes this guy's gonna he's gonna be like, okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna hook you up, and then the hookup shows up. Don't be afraid of people in their faces because you may be facing an angel. <laughs> they got us walking around scared of each other. 
And that's your angel. That's the person that's that's the divine appointment that you've been that you've been craving, that you've been wanting, that you've been desiring, that you need. That that's your that's the person that that's got the that's got the information or that knows what to do to heal you or that knows how to get you through the door that you need to get through. But we allow this guy and negativity and all of that stuff to impermeate. And I'm not saying that that doesn't exist, but what I'm saying is in terms of balance, right? In terms of balance, what's, what's really good? Where, where does your balance, where is your balance lining up? Right? Where is your balance? Because all we do is focus on the negative. We got haters, hate culture, cancel culture, <clears throat> all these different cultures that are not spiritual. Why why are why are people that have done like wars and stuff why are those things historic? But the day that that all of us got together and love one another, why is that not, you know, five five hundred thousand people gathered in a field and meditated and said said a prayer to, to the to the divine That's, that seems like that would be a, a historic event worthy of repetitive repeating forever. Right? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> so what I'm trying to get y'all to understand is we've got to be the ones to, 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 to create this new world order for lack of a better terminology. I, and I'm not trying to say it to scare anybody. That's not a, that's not a scary thing to say, look, the, if, if the new world order is love and peace and understanding and harmony and unity, see, because the reason why stuff on, on the news is so outrageous to us is because spiritually it's not in us. So when somebody does something that's that's really outrageous or heinous or anything like that, what it, we, oh my God. But we gotta understand that what? That as human, we all have the propensity to do everything that are in those 42 negative confessions. And according, according to the according to the Torah, we got the propensity to do six hundred and thirteen bad things. Or according to the the uh, according to the um, well, I guess that's the Torah to <laughs> Ten Commandments. I'm going to, but according to that, those are the things that you have the propensity the the your, is in your nature. Because of spiritual wickedness, some of the stuff that you do, you do it, and those and see because even those laws, even those laws, we're because we we always talk about the timeline, and see that's the thing, because see people think that all of this stuff was like happening simultaneously, but it was not. The timeline is is is. So how can how can you discover something that's already there? <laughs> or how can you how can you make up something that's already been practiced for for forever and ever? How can you do it? You can't. And see, so 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 <laughs> Souls, 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 right? Souls, souls, souls. 
So the first thing is <clears throat> start off with your soul. Once again, man, I'm not making it gender wise, but man, humanity, say man, able and noble. Master, able and noble. Master, able and noble. So when when that thing came out, that's why during during slavery, that's why they wanted you to call them master or boss or all of those things because once again, what you speak. And if you say that every day, in 17 days, who's your master? In 21 days, who's your master? <laughs> so saying is when you, so when you say, so we have to start saying this stuff, I'm free. I'm free. You got to, you got to, and you got to start treating the other souls like you treat your own soul. Because the one, all the souls together, they got like, they got like power to the, to the like billionth. <laughs> There's nine billion people on the planet, y'all. If a, if a, if if most of us got together and just said, "Look, we we gonna live differently," and that's what enlightenment is about, because the age of being able to fool people and lie to people and deceive people, and it, and and it is is it's, it's over. Because if you really want to know something, you can find it out. And the other thing is, most stuff is is right. Let's let's face it, most stuff is right at your fingertips. When I was coming along, I had to go, I had to go to the library and sit and, and read books and all of that stuff, and then pull out the parts of the books that were relevant to whatever it was we were we were studying or we were reporting on or, or whatever it was. Now. People make stuff up and they, and they just throw stuff out there and blah, 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 blah. They read two sentences on a, on a Google search and, and it's on, right? That's the stuff. And, and, and because once again, in all you get, get understanding. Wisdom and knowledge is the principal thing. Because even our system, capitalism, Capitalism is based upon the ability to take advantage of someone or to have an advantage over someone which you can trade for money. And we're capitalists in the United States of America. We're capitalists. So I don't even know what that is. <laughs> What is that? Anyway, but we're capitalists. So, so all of this stuff that they that they talk about is is, is absolutely ridiculous. When it comes down to, because you can actually be capitalistic, but the way that you take advantage of the one. eventually will catch up to you. Call it karma, call it what you want, call it what you have to call it or whatever. But when you're going inside, when you're going inside of you, and, and this is the thing, when you're going inside of you, first, the first thing is heal your own pain. Admit yourself a confession Oh my God, and and that's another that's another thing that came. Oh my God, the other night, and confession, just like those negative those negative confessions, 
those are not things. See, the church, the Roman Catholic Church, took those things, the confessions, or they took the meaning of confession and they flipped the script on y'all. So then when people went in, because that's how that's how the priest and the aristocracy and all of that, that's how they knew y'all business. And they were able to use what you confessed against you. And they made money doing it. Because to absolve you of your sin, which you're going to do anyway, right? I'm going to absolve you of your sin. So you give me a thousand dollars and you do say, you know, 400 million, whatever, Hail Mary's, hold your rosary beads in your hand. You going to tell me that's not a ritual? And where, and, and where is that in any scripture? I ain't seen that one. And I done read a lot of them. <laughs> in a lot of languages, in a lot of different translations, in a whole lot of different stuff, and I ain't never seen that one. So, I digress. Confession is for you. Not for everybody else. Not for the, you know, if you want to confess something, that's fine. To somebody else, that's fine. I'm not saying that. But it's not mandatory in your spirituality. The confession that, that's mandatory in your spirituality or should be mandatory, and nothing is mad, nothing is etched 100% in stone. But the one thing that should be is confession. Because confession is telling the truth to yourself. Confession is telling the truth to yourself. Just like my biggest problem is I procrastinate, which I, I've told y'all, but, but, and this is a real but, because that's my, that's the thing that I'm asking spirit to help me with. And I'm a workaholic. My wife would tell you, I am a workaholic. I work all the time doing something. And if I'm not working, I'm asleep. Praying, meditating, or just thinking, being to myself. So confess to yourself. So the, because the first, the first soul that you got to save, the first soul to save is yours. Then after you save that one, then the rest of the souls are easy to save. See, they, they don't, you know, because even when they, because you, you can't, even, even in church, they, you can't bring, how you going to bring somebody into the fold when you all messed up? So it's not selfish, it's just self-aware. Selfish is like an extreme. But self-confession is everything because that's what you're saying. You're saying, look, I haven't, I haven't killed anybody. I haven't stolen anything. I haven't lied on anybody. I haven't lied, you know, but I haven't lied to myself. I haven't, see, those those things, they're not etched in stone because you have the ability to be able to change those, those confessions to whatever you want them to be or whatever you need them to be in order to facilitate that 17 to 21 day change in your, in your life and in the abilities that you have to be able to do things. So confession, because I, because, 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 and, and, and like I said, the, the, the church historically, 
even even in in I have been in churches where the pastor has gotten in the pulpit and has preached a sermon about somebody's business because the person told them in confidence and then they went out and, and, and bleeped it all out. That's why don't and 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 that's another thing. We, that's why we tell people like like when when you when stuff is in the infancy and you're trying to manifest something, keep it to your damn self. I knew I was gonna get a cuss word. <laughs> I don't know if they, is damn a cuss word still <laughs> with all the other words. <laughs> probably not even a cuss word no more. But do you see what I'm saying? You got to, if you want to manifest this, it doesn't, and it doesn't matter what, the, because everything starts in the spiritual world. And so everybody, it wasn't get everybody's trying to manipulate this bad boy so that this bad boy don't hurt, but they, they not realizing that these bad boys work together. And then once you get straight and you got a good existence, then you can do make a better existence for everybody. That's universal oneness. That's a law because no matter, even if you don't think it's a law, it's a law. Why? Because it's going to happen regardless of whether you on board or not. Right? It's like gravity. Throw some, throw some up unless, unless you do something to change it. You throw a five pound brick up in the air. Guess what? It's going to fall right back down to the earth. Because it's a law. And the, and the, and the first thing, just like Michael, you know, and it, and it was funny because, and, and I, I, always, I, I, I hardly ever tell this story, but I'm, I'm sitting in the office. I'm, I'm, I just get the job at a radio station as music director and I'm all excited and everything. And so, I'm in there and I'm, you know, I'm doing all the playlists and, and, uh, making sure all the music and everything and there, that's, uh, that's hot out there and all that stuff. I'm trying to, you know, I'm, I'm a young hot shot dude. I'm a DJ, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm cool. Right. So all of a sudden I get a phone call and it's, uh, it's literally one of the, one of the highest up people, cause I'm not gonna use names, but one of the highest up people at, at a record company. And, um, and they want to know why I took Michael Jackson's song, Man in the Mirror, off of our playlist. And I said, well, we started playing it early and then we've been playing it for like, I mean, we had been playing that song for like almost a year. And it, you know, and it, but, and, and he just wanted it to be on the list, you know, because it, it was something that they were trying to, you know, trying to, you know, have like some type of marketing or promotion thing for. But long story short, <laughs> I was surprised that it's like, this dude is like, I mean, and I'm talking about when I talk about an executive that's like high up in the music business, I'm talking about this dude is like one of the highest. And he called me personally. And I thought I, at first I, I was about to hang up because I was like, I was like, you really, you know, you why, why are you calling me, you know, you know why, you know why, why aren't your underlings or somebody else, you know, the people that I dealt with, the promotion directors and all that's the, the promo people and stuff like that that I dealt with every day. But no, they sent the boss at me. But. It was the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And Mike was a bad boy. No message could be any clearer. Look yourself in that mirror make that change. I love you. Judson Brinkley Powell III. I love you. Judson Brinkley Powell III. I love you. Judson Brinkley Powell III. And then you say it 
insert your name, look in the mirror, and I guarantee you, stuff will change. I love you. Thank you for watching. Spread love, spread peace, spread joy, talk to each other. Because that could be an angel. That, that, that might be your angel.